Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm Jackie Sanders. And I'm Rashawn Mitchell. And you're watching Inspirational, Inspirational Sounds. Sounds. And it's our Christmas special where we have some amazing gospel artists who are here to sing about the birth of Jesus. You're in for a real treat. about Christmas It's about Christmas time Ooh, It's about Jesus It's about Christmas time It's about I'm Jackie Sanders, and you're watching Inspirational Sounds, and I'm so excited to be with Miss Bobby Lane Taylor today for our Christmas show. And you have a new single out. Tell us I about do. it. I do. The name of the single is called Light in a Dark Place. Basically, with so much darkness that's going on in the world today, we need to find a light. And for me and for everybody, I hope God is that light. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And can you tell us a little bit about your magazine, Vibrant? Yes, it's called Vibrant Magazine. It's to empower women of color. So basically, I just want to let all of us know that we're worth it. You're vibrant. I'm vibrant. You're vibrant. That's what it's about. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much.
It's Inspirational Sounds Christmas Special, and we've been having an awesome time. But right now, I have a special guest, my friend, my brother, Bishop Simon Gordon. How you doing? Man, wonderful, Vashon. It is so wonderful to see you spend some Christmas with Chicago. You're all over the world now, yeah. and so, so grateful to have this time with you. Yeah, I've been knowing you for a while, and uh, you have a project out right now. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. It's called uh, Simon Gordon Then and Now. Simon Gordon Then and Now. Yeah, it takes some of the music that I did back with a full gospel back in 2007, wow. 2014, 2016, wow. and new songs I wrote. And they all uh, are out. We got some wonderful tunes that are going to bless the people. Awesome. Tell our people how to go get this amazing music on all of the outlets. Yeah. So just go on and uh, look at Google Play. Uh, all the regular outlets, you know what to do. Every medium that you can do, Wherever go out and Whenever you stream your music, you can stream Simon Gordon then and now. But today, he's here to help us celebrate Jesus. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right.
the sky, look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the What's up guys? Here with Zeke Locke. Oh my God, we're here. <laughs> yes. Man, I love your energy. Oh man, thank you. I love yeah. your energy. <laughs> ah, thanks man, thanks man. Every time you come, you just bring the fire. Oh man, you're giving me a lot to live up to here. <laughs> hey man, I know you're gonna do it. I know you're gonna rock it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, so I hear you got some new music. Yeah, yeah, so we've got some new music right now. It's released through Ty Scott Records. It's being um, serviced to radio and DSP. So actually, you can call your favorite radio stations, your favorite radio stations that request Zeke Lock, the new experience. I'm walking and y'all better call. Call. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> hey, I think you have something for us today, right? Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of that today. Yeah, Mike, please. Uh. I'm Capri Williams with Inspiration Sounds wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there with you guys because I am away in college playing basketball. But Christmas is very important to me because I get to see my family and my loved ones and it's just a good time to be happy. So Merry Christmas and blessings to you all. I'm Danny Glover and you're watching Inspirational Sounds. What's up everybody, it's your man Uncle Fred. You're watching Inspirational Sounds. What's good, family? It's your brother Dietrich Haddon, and you're watching Inspirational Sounds. Keep it locked for the best in gospel music and all of entertainment.
I'm John Ellison, the pastor of Lakewood Chapel, here with my wife, Sue. And you are watching Inspirational Sounds. Thanks so much for being with us, Pastor. Welcome. It's so good to be with you, Jackie. God bless you. We really look forward to being together. Pastor, can you tell us a little bit about the rich history of Lakewood Chapel? Well, um, Lakewood Chapel kind of started accidentally a little bit, though I've always been a pastor uh, since Bible college, that kind of thing out in Calvary Church out in Naperville. But um, we were kind of helping uh, young men uh, with drug addictions. We, we were in charge of Teen Challenge in Hawaii, and we had a place here in the Chicagoland area, and we purchased this building. We had actually like 40 guys and girls also that were living here, struggling with addictions. We did some transitioning and some moving and that. And uh, anyway, so we met Pastor Joel and we became a church and we're thankful. Wonderful, wonderful. You, you mentioned Pastor Joel as Pastor Joel Olstein. And um, you have uh, obviously the similar name, uh, Lakewood Church, Lakewood Chapel. Tell us a little bit about your friendship and, and how this came about. Actually, um, we were originally uh, Calvary Chapel. We came out of a large church in Naperville. It was Calvary Temple. It used to be Calvary Church, uh, Pastor Schmidtgaw, a uh, uh, guy that really helped the, the Chicago land. And he passed away. Hmm. And he was kind of our uh, mentor. He gave us our start. And, um, you know, um, it's nice to have someone to look up to. So um, we were Calvary Chapel and uh, we got to know Pastor Joe. He was so uh, nice to us. His mother was the one that, she used to write us every week a handwritten card. Wow. And we're talking about a big church, yes. knowing a lot of people. Yes. So she would just encourage a small pa a church like this. And she is wonderful. It comes through even on oh, television. Yeah. Yeah. And I love her testimony yeah, my, of how she yeah. recovered from cancer. Oh, yeah. And it, it's just amazing because they had written her off and yeah, said she was going to die. Yeah. And God performed a miracle. Yeah, she, yeah. He performed a miracle and she is here today, yeah. so many decades later. Yeah. And yeah. that's a testament. It is. It, the, the neat thing is she is a sincere lady. She loves people, the down and outers. I can see it. That's what I like. She. She um, just cares about those that are going through something. She gives them the attention. And it wasn't until just a few years ago, I watched the service. She did the service for her husband. Mm -hmm. They had the family there. Mm -hmm. I, it was, I think, three hours long. I wept the whole time. Wow. It was, she did such a great job. The story that they have about helping the down and out people. Yes. That's what, uh, to me, that's what it's all about. That's what ministry is all about. Yes. And uh, they are, they live what uh, they say. Yes. They truly do a lot of, mm -hmm. and I'm thankful for knowing them. Yes, isn't that a blessing? It's a blessing and they are uh, good people and we're thankful. Oh, thankful, thankful. And we're thankful that you're affiliated with them. And, um, you know, we get to, at the end of every broadcast, he brings you and your lovely wife, Sue on, to, to just let the viewing audience know about the work that you're doing here. Um, so tell us what is most challenging about ministry and how do you balance the yeah. ministry and family? I would say the most challenging thing would be, uh, as I said earlier, is to stay consistent. Mm -hmm. As I said, pastors are human mm -hmm. and we get up every day just like everyone else, but you have to stay consistent and um, you have to always be there for people. And ministry comes out of your own life. I, yes. I think, uh, if, I like agree. I say, that's, that's the Osteens, if they've taught me anything, that's, it comes out of your own life, who you are. And um, if you don't have anything to give over, John Osteen used to say this. He used to say, uh, ministry comes out of the overflow of who you are. Mm -hmm. So the challenging thing is to stay uh, close to the Lord. Yes. Uh, have his heart. Mm -hmm. And when you have that, everything else tends to work out. And falls into place. It does. It mm -hmm. does. Yeah, it does. Now, what do you enjoy most about the ministry? 
The most I would think is to see a family, an individual that have struggled. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this this world can beat up on you. Yes. There's a lot of difficulties, a lot of struggles. People go through things. Mm -hmm. And I would think the greatest thing is when you see um, a child come home, mm -hmm. um, someone that's been on drugs or alcohol, start to get their life together or change, or if you see someone that is battling cancer, um, they find the peace or uh, they, be, they become healed. So the greatest thing in ministry is when you see uh, people get connected back to God and their life restored. Mm -hmm. And that makes it work worth all the while. Yes. What is next for Pastor John Ellison? And what would you like your legacy to be? You know, I was reading a verse the other day. Um, it's kind of a, something, um, it says, uh, a noble man makes noble plans and by his, his deeds he stands. I would say the legacy, because you know, life is short for all of us, right? Yes. And uh, we're all getting older. Mm -hmm. I would think is to, to be known as a, a person that uh, was there for uh, someone that needed help. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we've always been known for a, a, a church that does things that maybe others went do or that kind of thing. I would say the, the best thing one can do is to uh, be the hands and feet of Jesus mm -hmm. on this earth mm -hmm. uh, for those that are suffering and those that are going through a difficult time. Yeah. See, we're living in a, in a time where God wants to use us in unpredictable ways. Yeah, And he I does. Agree. And uh, if not you, if not, uh, if not the people of God, who? Yes. You know, Jesus works through his people mm -hmm. and he worked, you know, he worked, you know, I like to say this, you know, Jesus was walking the earth here. He was one guy, but now through the Holy Spirit, he lives in you. He lives in me. He lives in the people of God. And now we got Jesus is all over yes. and we need to be uh, uh, to a dying world. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that in a proudful way because our hearts break. Uh, we're living in a, in a world that is upside down in turmoil. Mm -hmm. We got to be Jesus. We have world. to be the light. We do. We got to be the light. Yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. This has been a wonderful interview. Thank you so much, Pastor John. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And you've been watching Inspirational Sounds today. We hope you got a blessing. Thank you so much, Pastor John. Thank you, Jackie. It's been a joy to be here. It's about Christmas. It's about Christmas time. It's about Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our Christmas show. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah! We could all use a little more. Let's go back to back. <laughs> It's about spreading the good news And a Savior we adore It's not just a melody Nor a presence under the tree For Christmas, we bless the less fortunate with Christmas gifts Oh, praise God Yes, ma'am that's, that's just a wonderful thing to hear that you're being a blessing. Absolutely. And because you're being a blessing, you're gonna get even more blessings. Amen. Even <laughs> more blessings on you because that, that you know, like you, you just said, that God loves a cheerful giver, but when God sees that we give from our heart and we are sincere with it, that touches God's heart. Absolutely. And then he pours out his blessings. Man, he say open the windows of heaven. <laughs> yes. Windows is more, is more windows than doors. So um, we excited about the windows and the blessing that God has continued to shower down upon us. Praise God, praise God. And I was especially happy to hear that for the holidays, you're gonna spend your holidays just blessing, just blessing others with things that they need. Yes, ma'am. Gifts, monetary gifts, food. Right. That's things that, that people need. Absolutely. And so thank you so much. Absolutely. That's for what caring. I, that's thank what it's you all so about. Much. That's what it's all about. And uh, that's what my dad instilled in us to always be givers, you know, for um, giving. It's just, it's just a blessing to give. And even the Bible says it's more blessed to give than, than it to is receive. to receive. Kindness. Peace.